Hello and a very warm welcome to British Royal Daily Updates YouTube channel. Shortly before the tragic passing of the late Queen, Meghan Markle's interview was released where she discussed her previous royal life and how she had not signed anything to prevent her from speaking about her experience. The royals will surely think back on their own memories of the former monarch on the first anniversary of the late Queen's death. However, it seems that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will not have the chance to share their reminiscences on the moving day tomorrow. That's because Harry will probably still be in the UK after going to a charity awards tonight before flying to Germany for the Invictus Games, while Meghan remains in California. The couple coincidentally were in the UK together this time last year when the late monarch entered her final hours and they prolonged their stay in Britain to attend ceremonies and her state funeral. The Queen's tragic death at Balmoral on September 8 occurred just days after Meghan gave a contentious interview to US magazine The Cut about her family life in California after resigning from royal duties. In the interview, she disclosed how she did not have to sign an NDA when she and husband Prince Harry dramatically left as working royals in 2020. And she also shared how she found a journal that she had kept during her time as a member of the firm of Frogmore Cottage when she came back to the UK for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations last summer. She notably said, It's interesting. I've never had to sign anything that limits me from talking. I can talk about my whole experience and make a choice not to. When asked by the interviewer why she hasn't revealed anyone about her true experience, Meghan replied that she was still healing. She continued. I think forgiveness is really important. It takes a lot more energy to not forgive. But it takes a lot of effort to forgive. I've really made an active effort, especially knowing that I can say anything. But speaking at the time on True Royalty TV's The Royal Beat, Sunday Times Royal Editor Roya Nikhar said Meghan had made thinly veiled threats and suggested that a memoir could be in the works in the future. She explained, the thinly veiled threats that came in, Meghan's interview with the cut, I think, she probably hopes it does feel threatening to the royal family. But, I think there's a lot of eye rolling going, we're used to this by now. But, that phrase, I have a lot to say until I don't and, I've never signed anything that limits me from talking. There was a very strong inference there. And of course, the reminder that she keeps a journal, and, her, revelation that, when we came back to Windsor, to Frogmore Cottage for the Jubilee. I rediscovered my journal that I'd left there, I was astonished to discover that she had left a highly private diary behind in Windsor, rather than taking it back. She's mentioned a couple of times in the last year or two that she kept a journal. And I think there is a very strong inference that Meghan could write her own memoir. Harry is set to make a solo whistle-stop trip to the UK to attend the Well Child Awards in London tonight. His Invictus Games for Wounded Troops begins in Dusseldorf, Germany, on Saturday. Meaning he is likely to spend less than 48 hours in his home country. But despite being in Britain at the same time as both his father King Charles and his brother Prince William, and on a poignant anniversary, he will not see either of them as insiders confirmed neither the King nor Prince of Wales have plans to see the Duke. While he has no intention of visiting them. A source, said the family relationship remains firmly rooted at rock bottom after Harry's criticism of Charles, 74, and William, 41, and other royals in TV interviews and his explosive memoir Spare. The insider said. Some might think it would be a good idea for the family to reconcile, maybe even in the late Queen's honor, but things are far from that. The last time Harry saw Charles and William was at the King's coronation on May 6. Remember to subscribe to British Royal Daily Updates YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell, this way you will be notified when we drop a video, stay safe.